Um, speaking of sex tips, uh, one thing that I do like to ask female performers is what do you think is, what are guys doing wrong in the bedroom? Like what can men do to improve their abilities as a lover? I think the number one thing is not forgetting that she also still has to come and your dick is probably not going to be the thing that gets her to come Mm. because most women can't come from just penetration. I'm one of those people, by the way. Yeah, I'm one of them as well. Like I need clitoral stimulation as well as penetration and there are some days where it can take me a while to come for Mm -hmm. sure. Like Mm -hmm. sometimes I'm five minutes, sometimes I'm 30 minutes. It can Mm -hmm. vary a lot and sometimes I'm multi-orgasmic and sometimes I'm not. But I find with my lovers in the past... Well, some of them, um, they'll, you'll fuck and they'll come and then they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, they're like, was that good for you, babe? And you were like, yeah, it's great. Great. Yeah, cool. You have fingers. Get in there, buddy. Like, (laughs) put them up there. So do you like being fingered? Because some women don't. Here's another thing, too, that I've found that um, a lot of guys don't necessarily understand is not every woman's the same. Yes. And some like fingering. Some don't, I actually don't like fingering. Anytime I'm with a woman, I ask her what she loves first. Mm. I think that's also the other thing that they need to do is to yeah. ask what gets them off. Cause every woman knows what their best triggers are. Yeah. There are some women out there that haven't come or don't really know what their triggers are or whatever. And that's fine, but they'll at least be able to tell you what they don't like. Right. Um, and so you got to start there. Yeah. Um, but I love fingers. I can be fisted by women. I, I love as long as you use fingers. margarine. <laughs> I don't know about margarine in the pussy. It could be a whole other thing. Oh, could you imagine? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you can. Yeah, You're I the can. expert here. I don't, I don't know about margarine in the pussy. I feel like <laughs> maybe yeast infection. Yeah, bacteria yeah. might not love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the ecosystem's much more fragile there than the butt. Yeah, yeah. this is true. Yeah. Um, what about penis size? Do you have an ideal penis size? How important? is penis size to you um my ideal penis size is a penis that I can play with and do things with and it doesn't necessarily have to fit in me like I don't have a favorite penis size per se I love anal so um when you start getting into like the bigger sizes I I can still fuck a big dick in my ass but I'm probably not going to do it every night per Mm. se but it doesn't mean that I can't do something with it I think there's something that you can do with any body even if you had a micro penis the stuff that you can do with a guy that'll still feel good to you so I don't have an ideal penis Mm. because I think that get creative guys if you ever if if you can't find a way to work with what you've been given, then, Mm -hmm. you know, you're you're not thinking outside the box enough. Yeah. I always say that the most important part of a man's penis is the person that's attached to it. Yeah. I love that. I'm going to steal that. You're welcome. (laughs) I give you margarine. Yeah. You you know, you gave me butt butter and (laughs) I'm just giving you like little pearls of wisdom and, yeah, I mean, you know, I do a lot of dick ratings on my OnlyFans. I'm sure you've probably done some of those too. And, you know, though one can admire a beautiful penis it's it's honestly like so much more about the guy that's attached to it I think especially for women you know because we're not necessarily you know visual people we're we're more about like the feelings yes and you know the way a guy talks to you the way he whispers in your ear the things that he says like for me like the biggest turn on is auditory yes like what a guy says to me yeah I'm I'm very much auditory as well as the sensation like um hot breath on my ear yeah me every time back of my neck and back of my shoulders will destroy me yeah like I can't I can't like not and most of my life I had not seen guys I mean the most I'd ever dated someone was five times until recently when I found myself kind of exploring more when I moved to America because now I have a life and I'm not Mm -hmm. working 60 hours a week. Mm -hmm. And I found that the more I got to know someone just by virtue of knowing that person and knowing them as a human being, like I come like every single, Mm -hmm. like multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. The comfort level is huge. Like it's, it's definitely for me, I can come more frequently with somebody I feel comfortable with. Yeah. If I don't feel comfortable with you, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 